So hello everyone, I am Regine Limpag. So today, let's talk about the conversion of octal to hexadecimal. So the octal number system is a base 8 number system, whereas the hexadecimal number system is a base 16 number system. So today, we have the example of 2, 3, 7, and base 8. Put the 4 to 1 in each number. So 4 to 1 weight binary digits. Binary can be expressed according to their place value from left to right as 4 to 1. So to get the 4 to 1, we have the 2 raised to the power of 2, which is 4, and 2 raised to the power of 1, which is 2, and 2 raised to the power of 0, which is 1. So we have 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 1, 1, 1. So this represents as a hexadecimal. So in the next step, you need to separate it by 4. So 0 is an off state, so it's okay to not include it. So we have 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1. Use the 8, 4, 2, 1 by each column. So 8, 4, 2, 1 is the weight binary digits. Binary can be also expressed according to their place value. So to get the 8421, we have the 2 raised to the power of 3, which is 8. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8, and so on. So to get the answer, you need to add the on-state numbers. So we have 8 and 1 equals add together. So you have 9 and you have 8. 4, 2, 1, which has an on state number, so you need to add to be equal by 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 15. So you don't have to put the 15 number, instead letter F. So in the rules of hexadecimal, we have the 1 to 9 and letter A to F. That signifies 10 to 15. I'll put the letter F that signifies 15 and base 16 that signifies as a hexadecimal.